Hi, I'm Diane Ideas with Hopper Union and want to introduce you to the Nine Box. So the Nine Box is a simple tool to assess employee performance and potential. It allows you to see strategically at a high level where your employees are and then have targeted performance interventions and career development conversations and make sure that you're supporting employee development so that you're continuing to grow your team, support your organization and build your bench moving towards succession planning. So as we look at the nine box, we're looking at potential and starting on the bottom, we have what's called low potential. So you do have some concern for people in that left bottom box because these are low performance, low potential. This is someone that's at risk. So maybe they are on leave, they are not performing, um, they're already on a performance intervention plan, but these are definitely employees that you are concerned about, concerned about their performance and also their potential at the organization. So you wanna be having discussions there. For your other low potentials, these may be people who are well-placed. Maybe they're at a point in their career where they don't want to go higher or they're not interested in managing people because we're referring to potential as not potential for future career growth, but potential as far as interest in leading other people. So a lot of your subject matter experts will be in the low potential category, but this is not necessarily a problem. Then we have medium potential. Are these people that you see potential in for future leadership, um, but maybe aren't there yet, aren't looking at potentially the high potential in getting promoted in the next year? One of the things you wanna look at, I recommend with the nine box that you have sticky notes or in pencil, kind of assess your team. You may not actually know where people fall on potential. You may not have had conversations with them about are they interested in managing people in the future? What are their career development plans? This is actually a really good time to have those conversations. There's a lot of burnout. There's a lot of languishing. There's, it's been hard years for all of us. So asking people about the future, while they may not have answers about that, it can still be good for us to be looking ahead and looking towards the possibility. So your medium potential folks likely need more grooming on the leadership of people's side. It's a different skill set. It's not the same as the technical skill set. They maybe need to work on executive presence or their ability to strategically plan or their ability to influence without authority. So it's, it's maybe a different set of skills, but even your gut check of whether they're high potential, medium or low can show you maybe who you haven't talked to about this or where people fall or what conversations you need to have. Also take a look at your own potential bias. Make sure that you're not seeing someone as a leader only because they lead like you, like me bias. Also think about what recruitment efforts or inclusion efforts are happening to make sure that you're looking at a diverse talent pool and you're supporting different types of leadership and what that looks like for your organization. So there's a lot more questions in the article that's on uh, hawthornunion.com. So you can kind of dig into this a little bit more, but you know, with potential, do you see this person leading a team now or potentially in the future? Then we look at performance. So again, we have concerns about the performance of the bottom left. This is someone who's not meeting expectations. What's in place, you know, do they need employee support services? Um, are, are they on leave? Do they need additional interventions? Um, what, what does this look like? Is this someone who's not motivated? Speaking of not motivated, the folks on the left either are new to their role, so they're not performing because they've been recently promoted or they're recent to the organization. If that's the case, I do recommend the onboarding action plan that's on HawthorneUnion.com. It's on our resource page, downloads with the video and the document. If they're at risk, though, which so many of us are, are um, in these extended times where people are, it's more challenging navigating this pandemic and people are making different life decisions and potentially moving over to the left as far as performance and moving down as far as potential. So one of the advantages of this simple tool, whether you do this on post-it notes or in pencil, or you do this, you know, at a certain cadence, whether it's quarterly or every six months, or at least annually, you will see how people move. You may have someone who was a high performer and their performance has dipped. Have they talked to you about that? Are you talking to them about that? Are you just hoping that it's going to get better because you're not wanting to have a difficult performance conversation? So keep in mind, there are reasons that just like there are reasons that our people are, are low potential, there are reasons that people are low 
um, on the performance, but you know, it, are they new? Are they at risk? Or is it just something where their performance is low? The medium performance folks are meeting your expectations. The high performance folks are exceeding your expectations. Pay attention as you fill this out to trends. If everyone's in high performance, do you just have a really amazing team or are you perhaps not grading hard enough? If everyone's either new or risk or low, um, are your expectations clear or actually set? If people are in the middle, does that make sense? Are you even measuring the right things? So again, you know, as you're evaluating people, these are things to think about and, and to assess. So then layering the performance and potential, we take a look at the grid as a whole. Um, I've already talked a little bit about low potential, low performance, you want interventions there. For your high potential, low performance, you wanna make sure that there's, that there's support there for them to be successful. Or you know, is this someone who was maybe over here and is moving? Um, do your people over here on the left on low performance need more support? Um, what are you doing with the middle? How do you keep your middle growing and thriving, especially in these times that are more challenging? Um, on the high performance side, we have our well-placed subject matter experts, um, but then also for your high potential high performance, you may not have enough positions available in the next year or two years to promote all of these people. So it is important to have these conversations. Is someone on your succession plan? Do they actually think that they're going to be here when you retire or when you transition? It's important to have these conversations. Also, the goal is not for everyone to be high, high, because what happens is, is then you may have more people than you can actually promote and they're gonna get offers from external. So once you've laid this out, get a sense of your employees, calibrate with others, trusted peers who maybe have additional context or information, your manager, your HR department. I recommend talking to your employees about this. Where do they, if they look at this grid, where do they place themselves? Sometimes employees are really hard on themselves and they're actually not saying that they're doing very well or you see a future for them. Or they may be asking you about the next level of promotion and you're like, and you don't necessarily see them in that light. It's important to have that conversation and be able to calibrate because a lot of times if their performance or potential is lower than you'd like, sometimes they don't have that awareness. That's not to say that you haven't had that conversation but sometimes it doesn't sink in in the same way. So being able to have these conversations with employees to focus on what do you want? How can I support you? How can the company support you? You know, what's your future here? It's important, especially as we navigate this ongoing pandemic to see a future beyond it. What does this look like? And to have these important conversations because perhaps someone that was high potential, high performance, maybe with their kids having to be working from home, or caring for other family members or other factors in their life that their, their status has changed. And maybe that's a temporary change and maybe that's a permanent change. So it's important to have these conversations and then revisit over time. So again, these resources are available. Please have these conversations with your team. Make sure that you're supporting your employees' development. Even if you don't know what's next, it's important to have these conversations as a leader both with the employees and also with other leaders. So we make sure that we're all working together to support employee development. So let us know at Hawthorne Union if we can support you and your employees and their continued development. And we hope this was helpful.